Hello everyone, I am here today to talk about the Cloak of the Darkened Sun. Now there have been some controversial opinions about this cloak since it was released, uh, mainly because it's hot garbage. However, that's incorrect, because this cloak is actually broken as heck. Now there are some things, you know, obviously you want to use a Cloak of the Planewalker, because you can teleport and you get dexterity over defense, which is a better bonus. Not to mention, if your goal as a rogue is to gain HP, you're not playing rogue correctly, etc, etc. However, this cloak in its current state is literally broken. So, as you can see, the Stealth Guard restores 20 HP when you're hit while invisible above 550 HP, and restore 80 HP when hit below 550 HP, that part doesn't matter. The cooldown for restoring 20 HP is 0.6 seconds, so you know it's about plus 20 HP, plus 20 HP, plus 20 HP, some sort of interval like that. But, in its current state, it doesn't work, and it has no cooldown. So, you know, as you can see, if it's not activated and I run through lava, I take damage, you know, obviously I'll, if I do that, I'll die. If I activate the cloak, and then I walk through the lava, I take next to no damage, because there's no cooldown on the 20 HP restore. It just activates every tick of damage. You can see the 20s above my head are just... There's no way, it's 0.6 seconds. And now you might think, okay, yeah, HP restore, that's cool, unlimited HP. It's basically like having armored on Rogue, and that's good, but if you're invisible, why does it matter? Well, I can tell you why it matters. Because it also doesn't work in the way it's supposed to, in the matter that I don't think this is an activate ability, it's just an ability that when the cloak is equipped, because if I equip the Planewalker, and then teleport and equip it, I start to regain the 20 HP back for the ticks of damage. So you can still use the effect of the Planewalker with this cloak if you can switch fast enough. And furthermore, <laughs> there's no... Since there's no cooldown, you know, if you're using this in places like a Lava Walk, or you're using this in places like uh, MBC, where you're getting hit every second regardless, uh, it's like I said before, it's like having a permanent armored effect. The cloak is clearly broken. It doesn't work the way it's intended to. The cooldown just doesn't even exist. Um, there's no reason to use it for the plus 100 HP boot, uh, buff, because the teleport from Planewalker is more important than 100 HP, but that restore 20 HP every time you're hit is the equivalent of having plus 20 defense. Um, so I'm basically a rogue with 71 defense while I have this equipped, uh, and I can teleport which is the outline of why this cloak is the best Oryx ability, and broken out of my mind. There is no reason to think that it's going to stay this way, So, and it's just an interesting bug that's in the game right now. Um, the question is, are they going to fix it by making it work properly, or are they just never going to fix it? So, you know, if you want to take advantage of the broken cloak in its current state, I would recommend getting one. You know, there's a lot of free shards at the intern out right now from the campaign, from the keepers, if you had any remaining from that, um, chests, from any chests you may have left over. Um, this cloak is worth having right now. Um, you can almost solo lava walk, I tried it yesterday, in Shatters, with the 75 damage ticks. You can make it about halfway through before I ran out of HP pots, which is insane. It means basically if you're lava walking in the priest nexuses, well, you'll be fine, because, you know, you have... <laughs> A weird buff that works in the same way as giving plus 20 defense, because you take 20 less damage every hit, but also it ticks on lava, which is something that armor doesn't protect you from, because, you know, lava armor breaks, and this just gives you health when you take damage. So, uh, that's a quick demonstration of why this cloak is broken, and it's the best Oryx ability currently. So, if you want to use it, I would recommend using it before it gets patched, because I'm also probably going to send this video to DECA so that I don't get banned for exploiting broken items. Uh, that's all. Thanks for listening.